Daniel, the father, he was saying that, he's like, go, go get mom. And Nathan, an eight-year-old boy, saying mom's not moving. A crash during a rainstorm last week took the lives of two women in Greene County. One was a mother of five, Victoria Moros. All of her kids were in the car when she hydroplaned across the center line and hit another vehicle. Color 10's Carissa Codell joins us live after speaking with Moros' family. Carissa. Yeah, right now I'm outside Home of God Church where there'll be a memorial service tonight. And I'm told Victoria was an active member of the church here and a mother everyone could look up to. She was a wife that uh, if one of our ministers would point a finger and say to imitate, uh, that's what, who we would point towards, uh, Victoria. Her. Victoria, I always called her Vika. Um, she had a heart of gold. 29-year-old Victoria Moroz is remembered by her husband and five children, as well as a close-knit church family. When one person weeps, we all weep. Um, and so this is just a way of the community being pulled together. Victoria's eight-year-old son, Nathan, was the one who called for help after the crash last Wednesday. When the car accident happened, he had to crawl out through a back window and help out the kids to get out of the car. Victoria's husband, Daniel, was seven hours away at the time of the crash. Oh, but it was, it was really heartbreaking for the father listening over the phone and not be, being able to do anything. Victoria was taken off life support nearly a week after the accident. And it was really tragic to see the kids and saying their goodbyes to a mother uh, that couldn't even talk and just, just laying there and, and the husband as well going through a really tough time for right now. Serena Capps organized a meal train for the family. She was kind hearted and she was a friend to a lot. She was a supportive wife who prayed for her husband. She was a caring mom that invested in her children. She was um, a woman that was on fire of God, for God. And um, she was just a really beautiful person. Through the fundraisers, Caps and Pachenyek say they have seen multiple communities come together to support the Moreau's family. It's not even the amount that matters. What really is so mind blowing is that everybody's coming together and covering the family. The five kids that are left without a mother, a loving mother, a God serving woman and a great wife. Yep. So it's really touching the people's hearts. And the other driver involved in this crash was 56 year old Angela Wilkinson. And she died two days later at the hospital. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.